Hello everyone, this is Justin, um, bringing you another coffee chatter interview. As you can see, I have my coffee, my iced coffee. Yum. And today we are talking to the beautiful, the wonderful, the gorgeous, the lovely, Jessie. Hi. Hi, Jessie. Um, <laughs> isn't she amazing? Uh, she is a nurse, um, which is fascinating. Tell us about being a nurse. What do you find most rewarding about it? What do you love? What do you love? What do you love about being a nurse? Uh, being a nurse is very rewarding for a few reasons. I would say, most specifically, especially with working with kids, um, influencing their lives. That's really, really rewarding. That's beautiful. That's very beautiful. You definitely want to help the kids. You don't want to do the opposite, which is hurting the kids and that is not good as we all know but you guys knew that um, a thing about Jesse which I really appreciate and she's a, a, a Facebook friend of mine we've met before but uh, I really admire her posts on Facebook they're very positive messages uh, her looking into the camera looking beautiful saying smile and happy Monday happy Tuesday happy Wednesday with all of these hashtags a million hashtags <laughs> yes. at least um, at least one million hashtags per uh, status <laughs> um, yeah. tell us uh, what what you find most uh, enjoyable about your uh, your the Instagram and Facebook po uh, pics that you post what do I find most enjoyable like is there a um when you post them is uh is there some kind of uh, is there a message that you want to get out to people like oh you know this is um this is who i am or you know stay positive people or is this just like hey bitch i am fabulous like what is, what is that all about um i like to post because there was a time in my life where i was so insecure so insecure like I just didn't I didn't embrace I was always into fashion but I didn't embrace it because I was afraid I would be mocked for it so I like to post because I like to embrace the positive for myself and then if it can influence other people then I'm all for that too and you know Jesse you have influenced me so you yes look at that do that face again you said awesome awesome <laughs> that's awesome yes i loved her face when she said that um yes there's very i really uh really like your posts i do feel also can i just say one other thing yeah say as many things I you want i was um posting part of posting for me was um taking steps out of my comfort zone like i post a lot of selfies and i post like a mantra basically and doing that like in the past, I would be very afraid of what people would think. So doing that is like facing fear for me also. It's a very good point that you made because uh, Jessie, as beautiful and as gorgeous as she is, she is dealing with uh, anxiety related issues in her life. And she's been dealing with that through a lot of her life. Uh, tell us about your issues with anxiety um, and what uh, what is it about anxiety that you want people to know? Well, for starters, I want people to know that having anxiety isn't a death sentence and it's not some insurmountable feat. Uh, you can have anxiety and learn how to cope with it. And you can have anxiety and learn how to take control of your life. That's what I want people to know about anxiety. And then for me, as far as like what I've struggled with anxiety, I've dealt with a lot of irrational fear. Um, when I was a kid, riding in a car on the highway used to scare me. The vacuum cleaner used to scare me. So she was like a dog, getting scared <laughs> by the vacuum cleaner. Um, taking trains still is nerve-wracking for me. Like, I'm not at the point where I can do that by myself yet. I'm not at the point where I can fly by myself yet. Um, I used to be severely claustrophobic. Like, I didn't take elevators for almost from the age of 12 until the year 2012. That's when I started taking elevators. Um, and then I was just very, very insecure. Did I answer that? that was, you answered it very perfectly. That was very nice. Um, the thing about Jesse, which I think is, what makes Jesse um, really uh, brave, and uh, what I really think what you're doing is incredible, 
that Jessie is posting vlogs on her YouTube channel, which she created very recently. I'll post a link in the description below. It's vlogs about her dealing with anxiety on a daily basis and talking about ish, um, her anxiety in her life. Uh, and it's something that I think is incredibly um, amazing to do because there's a lot of people out there with anxiety who don't feel like they have someone to talk to or to relate to. Uh, I know I, as someone uh, who, has, who knows people uh, in my life who has anxiety, they, uh, I've, I was very dismissive to them, especially my ex-girlfriend. I, I was like, shut, what? Like, stop, just stop. It's all in your head. Just stop with the anxiety talk. It's whatever. Uh, and, you know, but it also anxiety runs in my so dad's side uh, of the family. And I've had anxiety attacks. And I felt like no one, I had no one to talk to about how, how bad it is. Um, so tell us about your, your vlogs. What are you trying to do with your vlogs talking about anxiety? The purpose of having vlogs talking about anxiety is that I want to show people how simple it can be. It doesn't feel simple, but I want to show that, that there are steps that can be taken to take control of your life so that anxiety is not controlling your life. That's beautiful. That's a very beautiful answer. Good. And, and um, there's one particular uh, vlog that I saw. I think it was her first vlog. Her first vlog that she talks about um, how every uh, time you went to the the grocery store, there was an elevator. Oh, yeah. And it took her at least 20 minutes to just get ready, mentally prepared yeah. to get onto the elevator. Uh, and it became such a, a uh, an overwhelming experience to overcome that you had this issue where you um, had to go see your uh, sister giving birth to her after she gave after she gave birth after to a child. Hemorrhaged. She was hemorrhaging and she wanted to see her sister, but she wanted to see take the stairs, uh, but she couldn't for security reasons. She had to take the elevator and. That was when you knew you had to do something to cope yeah. with anxiety, right? Yeah. Tell us how how traumatic that uh, or painful that experience was. That was very, very painful. My sister just hemorrhaged twice, and I was like bringing her like lunch and some magazines. Yeah. And I was told that I couldn't take the steps. Most postpartum floors are locked down floors just for security reasons. Like there's new infants, you don't want anybody kidnapping and. Um, I was told I could not use the steps to get up to the floor to see my sister and I ended up not seeing my sister and that was that was devastating because my sister had just gone through a very traumatic experience and would have benefited from my support so that was that was when I really was like I can't keep living like this like I have to figure something out but even even after that I was still afraid to believe that change that was something whatever I was still afraid to believe that change was possible. Like I knew that I wanted it, but I didn't know how to get there. It was still a scary concept for yeah. me to believe that I could actually get through it. But I, I think we said, you, you talked about this just before we started filming is that you are at this point of your life closest to you have, be, you have come to being better. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. That's amazing. Um, and, um, you know what Jesse is doing is again fantastic. If any of you guys have uh, are dealing with anxiety yourselves, I know you play video games. It's a way to shut yourself out from the real world. Uh, you know, check her vlogs out. She's um, someone that you could ask in the comment section for help, yeah. or if you have uh, someone that you know who's dealing with anxiety and you don't know how to approach that go on her YouTube channel and talk to her, ask her questions about how do I help someone yeah. uh, with that, uh, with, with anxiety. Um, but moving on, uh, just a few more things to talk about. Uh, first off, you look, like, fan wait. You look fantastic. <laughs> what, what do you do uh, for exercise? I, I noticed that you had like a, uh, 
Look at that. She has a yoga mat right there. She's very active. And sneakers. Active. Yeah. Um, so you do you yoga? I definitely do yoga, and there's a lot of free yoga classes in Philly going on right now because it's the summertime. They're going to be ending soon. Oh, no. Because it's August. Oh, crumbum. But some of them might be going through September. I think yoga at the Ray Street Pier might go through September, I think. Um, I do yoga. I like to do cardio. I can't run full time yet, but I do enjoy running. And I, I like to do circuit training. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Nice. I, I also like to do circuit training. Circuit training is very fun. Circuit training, if you guys don't know, is kind of uh, like um, you know, just time out these these exercises and you put them in a little uh, little circle and you just do a little. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna do you know this jumping jacks for 30 seconds. Uh, now I'm gonna do push-ups for 30 seconds. Yeah. And then just, uh, squats for 30 seconds and then repeat. And yeah. it's uh, it's look at that. Fun. Yeah. Great minds think alike. <laughs> I think that's how it goes, yes. The yeah. Great minds think alike. Yeah. Uh, awesome, Jess. Um, well, I want to thank Jess for coming out on this beautiful day. A <laughs> thank beautiful you for smile me. For, for a beautiful day. <laughs> yes. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching and take care. Bye. <laughs>